Europe's Dark Knight of the Soul. Hi everyone, welcome to Nonsense YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Over the past few days, many different protests against rising living costs have arisen in Europe. Many people were angry about their government's conflict with Russia following the persecution of the Ukrainian people. A number of people began to yell at NATO or It's Our Country First in the streets of Paris, Berlin, and Prague this weekend, with media reports claiming that these were indications of a deeper financial crisis Europe is now facing. Florian Philippot, the leader of the French nationalist party Les Patriots, posted a photograph on Instagram showing hundreds of protesters rallying under the slogan, Leave NATO. He said that the protesters were waving French flags, holding up banners reading resistance, and Frexit, a reference to a demand to leave the EU, which was reported on the news. Protesters also criticized NATO's warmongering and economic disruption linked to the sanctions that the EU imposed on Russia for the Russia-Ukraine crisis, according to a news report. Similar scenes occurred in countries such as Germany, the Czech Republic, and Moldova. Supporters of the far-right alternative for Germany, AFD, political party were protesting in front of Berlin's Reichstag building on Saturday after housing prices skyrocketed in the country. The party leader accused the government of waging war against its citizens by sanctioning Russia over its military operation in Ukraine. The media reported, Thousands of people strolled through Prague's when Cessna Square to stand against price increases. The Xinhua News Agency noted that the country's major trade unions organized the demonstration, noting that inflation and declining living standards in the Czech Republic have unsettled citizens. Demonstrations against the government in Moldova have been going on for several weeks, as the poor national economy continues to grow as a result of elevated energy costs. Currently, Europe is facing rising populism, and the sanctions enacted against Russia have severely affected EU member states' incomes, creating an environment in which populism will grow and become a bigger crisis. Song Luzhen, a Paris-based Chinese scholar, told the Global Times on Monday that there is still a risk of a phenomenon called populism because of the widespread hardships caused by the sanctions and further growing discontent. Freezing weather is currently threatening to strike European countries due to the worsening energy crisis triggered by Russia's continuing aggression toward Ukraine and the explosions on the Nord Stream gas pipelines. The U.S. is pursuing this objective by using these skyrocketing energy prices to reduce the power levels of European countries until they no longer look economically viable for corporations. Recently, leaders from multiple European countries were unable to discuss a potential reduction to gas prices during a summit on Friday in Prague. That incident disrupted family life and local businesses. It's just the beginning, as per the reporters said, the policies of the EU and NATO are not evolving into a direction that could help solve the problem, but Western countries continue fanning the flames on the crisis, leading to a vicious cycle. Now it's the energy crisis, and next it's the security crisis, which will continue causing public panic, he said. Many European politicians are anticipated to come together in Brussels next week in an attempt to fix the energy crisis. Numerous countries, such as France and Germany, are re-examining their imports of energy from foreign countries to lower costs. Now, European people are suffering. In the future, their manufacturing and industries will suffer as the impact of the crisis will lower national financial revenues and weaken social benefits, eroding those countries' overall competitiveness. The crisis will be a long-term issue. For instance, German manufacturing could have used cheap Russian energy, but the good old days are over now. People in European countries such as the Czech Republic, France, and Germany protested in September over growing living expenses as more and more realized that they themselves were packaging up the infamous chocolate pill for their politicians' political correctness and following the U.S. to sanction Russia. In the wake of the protests of recent weeks, world leaders are concerned about Europe's well-being and the security of the Ukrainian situation, which will eventually be a problem in promoting Europe. European political leaders should carefully think through what they are taking the continent. Hope this video is informative. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos.